And it's a first alert weather day. We have been seeing a lot of ocean spray across the entire island chain. So hazy conditions. If you're looking Mackay, you can notice how rough it is right now. And the coconut trees doing a hula. We will continue to see rough conditions within the next 24 hours before the winds start subsiding. But a first alert weather day until Wednesday morning. And we will be seeing elevated winds throughout tomorrow as well. Let's take a closer look at some of the alerts that are up. We have a number of them related to our winds. We're seeing damaging winds gusts up to 50 to even 60 miles per hour associated with power outages and that may impact some trees. So down trees and utility lines as well. So we'll definitely have to be careful into the nighttime hours. Land and sea for land fire weather concerns. A big concern for us with a red flag warning and over the waters we're seeing high surf and rough conditions the next couple of days. The driving force behind our weather two different different elements. We have an area of high pressure north of the island chain and notice there we've been tracking this one for quite some time. Dora, a hurricane, still a major category four hurricane. It is more than 400 miles south of the islands, but it's creating what's called a tight pressure gradient or difference between that area of high pressure and lower pressure within Dora. It's moving west at 22 miles per hour and it continues to move away from the islands within the next couple of days. As it does, the winds are going to be backing down when we're on the back side of Dora. But for now, we're still seeing those winds peak today, and that's bringing on a first alert weather day and a red flag warning. Fire weather danger is very high now. We're seeing dry conditions and very warm afternoon highs in the 90s. Relative humidity, 45%. Wind speeds have been falling anywhere from 20 to 30 miles per hour. Gusts easily exceeding even 50 miles per hour. And you can see a lot of reds on the map there, magentas, and that indicates how strong the winds are, and we will see that remain in the forecast through tonight into the morning hours. So your hour by hour forecast, all about the winds, double digits, two hands on the wheels. Definitely you're going to be seeing very gusty conditions and look out for flying debris. Some of these down trees come down pretty quickly, so be careful out there. And I had to bring my trash bins in this morning. A lot of them were knocked over as well. Island by island forecast does call for gusty conditions tomorrow, but not as gusty as today, but we're still going to start off with breezy conditions up to 30 miles per hour. By the end of the day, we're talking about 20 to 25 miles per hour. So on all of the islands, we still have that high wind warning up. We will likely be seeing rough conditions with a gale warning over the waters as well. You see North Hawaii, very gusty conditions at 25 to 35 into the next seven days. Still a first alert weather day into the morning hours, and then we'll likely be seeing those winds subside and then back to classic trade winds. Finally, get a little break Thursday, Friday into the weekend. Now let's check in with Jonathan and first alert traffic. And obviously the advice that Jen is giving, be aware of those winds as you begin your commute and as you start planning it. I want to tell you about a couple of things that you should be aware of if you're trying to get out of downtown Honolulu right now. A stalled vehicle that we had earlier on Nimbus and Pu'uhale has been cleared off, so that's going to open up traffic. But as you can see, the red pretty much tying up a lot right now. Uh, another accident we had on Kamehameha Highway near Pala'ala'a Uka and Pupukea Road also has been cleared up, so that commute into the North Shore area should be clearing up pretty well. So I want to show you this camera again. You see a lot of winds right here in this camera vantage point, and this is 